Hi everyone, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we are going to go over mast cell tumors in doggies. I'm going to go over what you and me both see at home and in the veterinary clinic, how I go about getting my initial diagnosis, and then hopefully how we fix the problem. As always, if your pet is sick, please go see your veterinarian. These videos are solely meant for educational and entertainment purposes. Mast cell tumors are probably the most common lump I see on a dog's skin. Mast cell tumors are usually a red raised lump or circular lesion that can be found on the dog's skin. Mast cell tumors will grow really quickly sometimes, or if they are irritated, the mast cells will release their granules and they can get bigger and more inflamed. I will look your doggy completely over, ask you a bunch of questions about how we're doing health-wise, and then we will look at the skin. And for any lump or bump, I will take a sample. That moves us into our next phase, how we diagnose this sucker. Mast cells are a round cell tumor, which means when I go to sample it and I pull back on that syringe, the cells move out of the mass into my needle relatively easily. So I can get a really good sample because of the type of tumor it is. Once I get my sample, I'm gonna go ahead and stain it and then I'm gonna put it under the microscope. A lot of times your veterinary may be able to diagnose it in-house the same day. And other times they may send it off to a pathologist. Either one's a great option. Mast cells will be circular and I'll see little granules in them and there'll be a whole bunch of them. And based on that, I can be quite confident it's a mast cell tumor. Now that we got our answer, let's move on to treatment. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna book that puppy dog for a procedure to get that mast cell removed. We're gonna do our very best to get nice big margins and go as deep as possible. That way we have healthy tissue all around the mast cell when it comes out. Of course, Sometimes it's not ideal, it's in a bad spot and we can't get everything we want to get. But the goal should always be, I'm gonna get as much tissue, healthy tissue, around this mast cell to give me the best chance for a good prognosis. You should always take that mast then and send it off to a pathologist. And the pathologist, the veterinary pathologist, will read it out. And this is so important because that sample I took early to diagnose it, doesn't tell me much besides we have a mast cell tumor. When you send that lump off that you took, they're gonna tell us how good our borders are. They're gonna grade it, how aggressive is it. They may be able to give you advice on if it's spread or if it's gonna spread. They can give you a prognosis, how long we're gonna live afterwards. Things like do we need to keep monitoring the area because we got poor margins or should we be fine for a bit? All of this will help you feel better and understand your pet's diagnosis and prognosis much better. The thing I drive home to all my clients is when you see something, don't let fear hold you back from going into your veterinary office. Go in, get it diagnosed, and if it is a problem, get it removed. Removing something early can really, really be beneficial in the long run. And if this content has been super helpful for you, please go ahead and like and subscribe.